Time, welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to show you how the Virgin Hub 3.0 here, but how to port forward if you're, for instance, using for gaming or you want a RDP or anything like that, you'll need to use port forward. I'm just going to show you how to do that now. So, you need to go to the home page. The default install for Virgin will give you the IP address of 192.168.0.1 as the router. So, put that into your browser. You should be presented with this page. If you're not, you need to find out the IP address you've assigned to the modem. Sometimes it can be 192.168.1.1, can be 100.1. You either have to have a little play around and try and find that, or you can look at your IP configuration settings. So log into your router. The password will either be on the back of the router itself, if it's been the default one from the install, or the one that you set yourself when you configured it. If you don't know that, you'll have to reset the router back to factory settings, which can be done by the reset button on the back of the modem. If you want to show you anything else tutorial wise, let me know in the comments and I'll put a video up for that, no problem. So once you're on your default page, the Superhub 3 is really simple. It's probably the simplest one out of all these Superhubs. What you're gonna need to do is go to security and you're gonna need to go to port forwarding. Under port forwarding, you'll see the settings here for the port number, the IP address, the protocol, and if it's enabled or not. There will be some default ones. Let me show you how to create a rule. So for each port forward, if you wanted to port forward FTP, so port 21, Okay, the port number will be specified by the application you're trying to do, by the game you're trying to use. You should be able to find the ports. You'll need to put those and, and use those ports instead of 21 that I'm going to use. But it's the same principle, just change the port number. So you create the rule. You need to pick the local PC. So if you've got a gaming PC, it needs to be that IP address. Or if you're using a FTP server, it needs to be that server's IP address that you're going to use. So on here, we're going to call it IP6. We're going to start the port at 21 because that's what the port I'm going to be using. I'm going to end the port at 21 internal. So local's the internal one. And external, I'm not going to change it. I'm just going to call it 21, 21. I'm not going to confuse it. If you want to be a bit more secure, you can change these two for something else or vice versa, these two for something else externally. But I'm just going to leave them all the same. For yourself, just leave them all the same. We're going to use um, both. You can set if you know it's specifically TCP or UDP. I'm just going to set to both and you're going to enable it as we need it. You click add. Those settings will take a few seconds to apply. Once added, you'll see it, and there's the port forward. So if you want to see more of these tutorials, let me know in the comments. Until then, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.